Hey guys, it's Vic Vasquez. I look crazy, obviously. It's very early in the morning, like 7.30, 8 o'clock. Um, welcome back to my channel. Today, the plan was to show you guys, I have a pimple right here. I don't know, I just saw this. I gotta go pop it, but, um. I hate cow food better. Oh, baby. The, what do you just call? Oh, there's the cow. The doctor. The doctor said I help me. The doctor is gonna help you. Hopefully give you some good medicine to make you go <laughs> Right here, right here, right here. Um, I'm not sure what kind of medicine the doctor would give you, but probably something to like put in your mouth and swallow. No, now to put the medicine in my mouth and swallow. <gasps> that's not. That's not good. What do you want to do then? Eat bars. I just is me. I. I medicine juice. Medicine juice? Yeah. Okay, that's a good that's just, a, that's uh a, a just juice. Just drink juice. Okay. Drink so you guys probably don't know what he's talking about, but basically the plan for today was to do a day in the Mommy. life. I'm gonna tell them what's going on and how you were hurting last night, okay? Yeah. Okay. Do it then. <laughs> so last night. Oh, the plan for today was to do a day in the life with a, a toddler and a newborn. Is he still a newborn? Is he a baby now? Is a baby a newborn? Like, I don't know. Anyways, that was the plan, but things are probably going to go a little bit different today. I want to hold it. I'm already behind schedule. I want to hold it. Okay, here. We don't have to hold it. We're just going to put it right here. Yeah. So... Hi. So, things are going to be a little bit different today because last night, Callie came in my room in massive amounts of pain, guys. Yes. He was in a lot of pain and it was really, 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 really sad and I felt so what bad. What happened? You were just crying, babe, and, and you were saying that, like, you don't, you can't feel better and that Yeah, I can't feel better. I cries. And I got boo and last night no he might just boo right here and hurt. And that didn't happen last night. Yes it was. It was. And they go and they come in in my room and I and I and Nuna hear me and they cry. Aww. But I'm talking about last night you came in the room, he was like trying really hard to poo. It was it was awful guys. I felt so bad. And he's been having this constipation, to be honest. So basically, I was just feeling terrible having so much mom guilt because he has had constipation on and off for like. Oh no! On and off for like the on past. And off. For like the past month. I um, can't feel better. But I just thought like it was due to like diet. Like he does eat a lot of carbs. Like. I he Make eats like whole wheat, like, like, toast, and mommy, he eats pasta, and he eats a lot camera. of rice. On the whole camera. So I was like, oh, his diet just oh. needs to change. I was like, oh, his diet just needs to change. So like, I've been giving him mommy, smoothies and more it. fruits nah, and like juices. Nah, nah, nah. My main concern today is making him feel better. So um, nah, nah, that's what's on nah, the agenda nah, for today. Nah. Okay, see you guys soon. Bye. Okay. Oh, no, no. Guys, we need to make this morning. And that's lucky. Mommy, that's lucky. Baby, what do you mean? It's <laughs> just lucky. No, it's good though. You have to drink it so that you can go poop. So just keep drinking it, okay? She's poop. I don't want that. I want flavor. Flavor. I want just some cereal. You can't have cereal. It's not going to help your poop. Maybe I want oatmeal. Okay, well, smoothie and oatmeal, okay? You have to drink some of that or you have to drink this water. You, can, you have to if you want to go poo-poo. Mm -hmm. I just like this oatmeal. Yeah, but oatmeal has milk in it. Uh -huh. And milk is not good for your poo-poo. Uh -huh. Let's call Papai and see what he thinks we should do, okay? Okay. Oopsies. 
Leave it right there. Lucas, I know it. Oh, I never go through the last night and I drink this water. You're drinking this water now? Yeah. You feel better? Yes, and I feel better. How do you, how do you, and how do you and feel? And I drink right this smoothie, I feel better. And this just a lucky. And I just, just, I'm just, just smoothie and just lucky. Yes, you drink your medicine, baby? I just did. You just did? Yeah, I just did. We're driving. To work. Driving to work, man. To the gym or the yeah. No, not the gym. I'm going to work. He's going to work. I know, baby. What? I gotta go get this money. Handle what? some business. I will have some business here. You wanna handle some business with me? Yes, and chocolate and lemons. And chocolate and lemons? Yeah. Okay, we go get it later, okay? I okay. love you, man. I love you, man. You're my best friend, okay? Yeah, okay. Bye. Ciao. All right. All right. Ciao, Mano. Ciao, Mano. I love you. Love. Love you. Let's call Ravy next. Okay guys, so Mr. Milo woke up, so I changed his diaper, and now I'm gonna change his clothes, and then I'm gonna give him milkies, and then I'm gonna jump in the shower with Callie and get ready for the day. Um, I made the doctor's appointment. They called me back. We're going at 11, which is perfect. Let's put your clothes on. Oh, you wanna watch? What should we put on today for you, baby? What should we put on today? What do you wanna wear today? We gotta go outside, so you gotta be super warm. Okay, guys. It's okay, Boo Boo. Is putting him in this because I've, it's cold outside. I want his whole body to be covered up. I'm gonna put this on underneath for some extra warmth. And yeah, so let's get you dressed. Let's get you dressed, Boo Boo. What are you saying? What are you talking about? Are you telling mommy how much you love her? I love you. Let me check on Callie. It's like, guys, I feel awful when I'm like loving on him and like Callie's just by himself. Callie! Are you doing okay? Okay, I love you. He's good. He's just under the blankets watching his show. He needs to be catered to today, guys. That's my baby. It was hurting me so bad last night to see him in pain. Like, oh. And honestly, Lucas was a little bit mad at me. He, I think he gets, he's under the impression that I've like been ignoring the situation. But obviously, like, I love my baby. I would never want him to suffer. And yes, he has been suffering. And every time he has need to go poop, he has been like, having discomfort but I honestly thought like okay like he's eating too much carbs like I just need to change his diet I don't know like I'm a I'm still a first-time mom to Cali too you know and I haven't been in, in a predicament of him having like constipation so like I'm still making mistakes sometimes guys but I'm making it right now so I'm not gonna dwell on how I wasn't taking care of it properly before Oh, you can't beat yourself up too bad, but you definitely need to make changes. So, that's the deal. Anyways, I'm going to finish getting his clothes on, and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Okay, first of all, why does my hair look red? Anyways, we're on our way to the doctor. No. Um, no. We, we can get this resolved very quickly because it's stressing me out and I just want him to feel better. And uh, yeah, so maybe I'll record some at the doctor. Maybe I won't. I don't know. I feel like it's kind of weird when you just have like your big ass camera out at the doctor's office. They're probably like thinking I'm more worried about getting content than making sure my child feels better. I don't know. But that's not true. I just and filming what's going on in our lives. I don't know, see I'm always worried about what people are thinking, but um, so yeah, if I do, then great. If I don't, I don't, but I'll, 
update you guys on what's going on with my baby. You want to tell them yes. what, what we're doing? Yes, mommy. Okay. Guys, we we just I know we just go in the car and we on the way. And now we're here at the doctor. Yeah. And what did they ask you? Put my my temperature. They checked your temperature. Yeah. What else? Uh, I don't know. They asked you how you were eating. Yes. They asked you if your belly was hurting. Uh, yes. <gasps> what? Let's take them. They're coming out in here. <sighs> okay. Well. Oh. The doctor will be in soon. So. Hi guys. Bye guys. <laughs> so we just had to take Milo out of the car seat because I heard him pooping. This one's pooping too much, and you're <laughs> and you're not pooping enough. Is that right? <laughs> so are you done? <laughs> Can I change your diaper, buddy? Yes, buddy. <laughs> they <hold> me. <gasps> It's a video. You want to tell them what just happened? Yeah. So, guys, we just... Just hold it like this. We just got a little thingy up his butt. And it helped him poop. And that was rough. That was very rough. And he was crying. It was super sad, guys. Oh, my gosh. But now this, the doctor gave him a popsicle. And they gave you some superhero stickers. So, you're happy now, right? You feel much better? Okay. Say, so I feel better. I feel better. Yay. Okay, bye. Okay, guys. So we got home. We ate lunch. Callie went to the bathroom like two more times. So I've had to change like two more really bad diapers, but it's good because it's getting it all out of his system. So I just did all the dishes. Now I'm gonna just like organize and try to fold a load of laundry. <laughs> Something. Okay. Also, just a side note, I'm dealing with some backlash on my last video that I posted <sighs> from family. But to be honest, I had a feeling there were going to be some people that were hurt, I guess. Um, but nobody should be hurt because I want my children to have great relationships with all of their family members. Don't like confrontation. I don't like dealing with the tension of it all. Before, I used to let this stuff get to me and then I would end up apologizing for things that I shouldn't have even been apologizing for or I would just be a pushover and let them con let people continue to walk all over me. But I, at this point in my life, I am so self-aware and um, confident with how I am as a person, how I um, get things across as a person. And I know I'm not wrong in the situation, so it is what it is. Uh, I'm, I stand my ground. Hi guys. Um, I did a really bad job at updating you guys on the rest of my night because honestly, it's just been a long evening. And it's been a long evening on top of a long day, on top of a long night. Long night being last night when Callie was coming to my room crying about being in pain. And seeing your kid in pain is literally torture. So dealing with that today was stressful. And then dealing with I guess family drama from my last video that I posted. It's another thing that's extremely, extremely, extremely draining and I don't even have much to say about it because I always this like 
heavy feeling on my heart when I like am real and talk about like my thoughts like I feel like my YouTube channel is somewhat of a like diary but then like you have to remember like it's also the internet so if you post something that's a little bit too real you might get some people that are upset with you and say hurtful and mean things all I want is just like some respect when it has to do with my child yeah I am triggered when I don't get that and I am triggered when my son doesn't want to be with me because he's so used to like being spoiled in other places and I like love him with all my heart but I don't spoil him I don't need anybody to feel bad for me I just wish people would put themselves in my shoes sometimes and I wish some people wouldn't disregard like my feelings I sit here and like think about these things and I think about them to the point where I like start to question myself and like start to feel like am I just like wrong about everything am I just like going about things the wrong way all the time even though I've tried like 30 different approaches and every single way it ends up with me questioning why I'm dealing with this and I'm scared to even just like sit here and like talk about things like super openly because I I've already like hurt people's feelings and had an actual family member say they would like nothing more but to never have an interaction with me ever again. Like, that's deep. That's deep. That's really deep. It's like, I just don't know how to like move forward in some certain situations sometimes. Like, when does it get easier? Or better I'm just so worried about everything I'm so worried about my kids growing up and thinking that I'm somebody that I'm not based on what others have to say about me so yeah this video sucked sorry about that it's been a long day I'm gonna go to sleep and I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and conquer the day and try to just forget about this entire day so we'll try again tomorrow good night